Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker. Here's a fun problem from France. N is a three-digit number. The digits of N can be swapped to give five new numbers. If we add these five numbers, we get 2022. What is the value of N? This is from the Rally Mathematique 2022 competition, which was for students aged about 15 to 16 years old. So how can we solve for this mystery number n? Let's think about it logically. Let n be equal to a, b, c. How many different ways can we arrange the letters a, b, and c? Well, the answer would be three factorial because there are three options for the first letter two remaining options for the second letter, and one option for the last letter. 3 factorial is equal to 6, so there would be 6 total possibilities. Excluding the option of ABC, that would mean 5 different options. We can write out these possibilities as ACB, BAC, BCA, CAB, and CBA. Now the way I approached the problem was to consider the sum of all 6 of these numbers. Let's write out this sum in long form. Now, ABC is a short form of the number 100A plus 10B plus C. We can write out each of these numbers in long form. Now, let's color code this sum by each different variable. So let's put all the terms with A in blue, all the terms with B in green, and all the terms with C, we'll leave them in white. So let's add up all the terms with A. We have 100a plus 100a plus 10a plus a plus 10a plus a. So notice we have two of each column. So we have 100a twice, 10a twice, and we have a twice. So that would be 222a. And by symmetry, we can see that's the same value for the other variables b and c. So this will be equal to 222a plus 222b plus 222c. We can factor 222, so it'll be 222 times the sum of a, b, and c. But there's another way that we could sum all six of these numbers. From the given information in the problem, these five new numbers will have a sum of 2022. So let's add a, b, c to this sum. So this is equal to 2022 plus 100a plus 10b plus c. And this value will be equal to 222 multiplied by the sum of a, b, and c. So let's analyze this equation. 222 is clearly a multiple of 3, so let's think about this equation modulo 3. 222 is equal to 3 times 74, which is equivalent to 0 mod 3. Let's take the right-hand side, modulo 3. Now, 2022 is also a multiple of 3. 100 is one more than a multiple of 3, because 100 is equal to 1 plus 99, and 99 is a multiple of 3. Similarly, 10 is equal to 1 plus 9, 9 is a multiple of 3, so 10 is one more than a multiple of 3. So the entire right-hand side of the equation, modulo 3, will be equal to a plus b plus c. Now we equate that to the left side of the equation, which is equal to 0. So the left side of the equation is 0 mod 3, and the right side of the equation is a plus b plus c mod 3, which means that a plus b plus c is equal to 0 mod 3. In other words, a plus b plus c is a multiple of 3, so we can write a plus b plus c as equal to 3 times k for some integer k. We also have 222 is equal to 0 mod 3, because 222 is equal to 3 times 74. If we take the product of 222 and the sum of a, b, and c, we will get 3 times 74 times 3k, which equals 9k times 74. This means this product is a multiple of 9. So this product is equivalent to 0 mod 9. So if the left-hand side of the equation is equal to 0 mod 9, 
let's take the right-hand side of the equation modulo 9. 2022 will be 6 more than a multiple of 9, so it is equal to 6 mod 9. 100 is, of course, 1 more than a multiple of 9, because it's 1 plus 99. 10 is also 1 more than a multiple of 9. So the entire right-hand side of the equation will be equivalent to 6 plus a plus b plus c mod 9. So let's put these facts together. The left-hand side of the equation is 0 mod 9, and the right-hand side of the equation is 6 plus a plus b plus c mod 9. So 0 is equal to 6 plus a plus b plus c mod 9. Recall that a, b, and c are digits from 0 to 9. So if we add up three digits from 0 to 9, the smallest value we could get is 0, and the largest value we can get is 27. We also need 6 plus the sum of these three digits to be a multiple of 9. One value could be 9, so 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. That is one possibility for a, b, and c. We can then keep adding 9 to that option. So the sum of a, b, and c is either 3, 3 plus 9, which equals 12, or 12 plus 9, which equals 21. If we go any larger, we would get to 30, and we know the sum of the three digits has to be less than or equal to 27. So we only have three possibilities we need to check, 3, 12, or 21. So let's consider each possibility. Suppose a plus b plus c was equal to 3. We will substitute this in to the left-hand side of the equation. So 222 multiplied by 3 will be equal to 666. Is it possible that 666 is equal to the right-hand side of the equation, which is 2022 plus 10a plus 10b plus c? No, 666 is smaller than 2022, so it's not possible that the sum of a, b, and c will be equal to 3 we can eliminate this possibility. What if a plus b plus c were equal to 21? Substituting into the left-hand side of the equation, we get the result of 4,662. Is it possible that this result is equal to 2,022 plus 100a plus 10b plus c? Well, suppose a, b, and c were all at their maximum value of 9 we would still end up with a number on the right-hand side that's too small. 4,662 is greater than 2,022 plus 900 plus 90 plus 9. So we can't have a plus b plus c is equal to 21. That only leaves one possibility, which is a plus b plus c is equal to 12. 222 times 12 is equal to 2,664. If we subtract 2022, we will get 642, which is exactly equal to the value of 100a plus 10b plus c. We can just read the digits off, 6, 4, and 2. So the mystery number n is equal to 642. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.